Okay, example four, solve a multi-step problem. Ice sculptures. Some ice sculptures are made by filling a mold with water and then freezing it. You are making such an ice sculpture for a school dance. It is to be shaped like a pyramid with a height that is one foot greater than the length of each side of a square base. The volume of the ice sculpture is four cubic feet. What are the dimensions of the mold? Okay, the dimensions of the base are X and X. That's the length and the width. And they told us that the height would be one more than um, the base. So we got X plus one. All right, so step one then, write an equation for the volume of the ice sculpture. Well, volume is equal to one third times the area of the base times the height. So they told us the volume was four. We bring down our one third. The area of the base, the base is a square, is going to be x times x, or length times width, or base times, um, actually not height in this case, but it's length times width. So it's going to give us x squared uh, times the height, which is x plus 1. All right, so we write the equation out. 4 is equal to 1 third times x squared times x plus 1. We're going to multiply each side by 3 to get rid of the 1 third. After doing so, the 1 third is gone. It's like multiplying by 3 over 1. And then uh, 3 over 1 times 4 is 12. So now we got 12 is equal to x cubed plus x squared. We're going to subtract 12 from each side. Now we got x cubed plus x squared minus x. All right, now we're going to list all the possible rational solutions, which everybody should know how to do definitely by now. So we're going to look at this 12. We write all the factors for 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. And our leading coefficient is 1, so that makes it pretty, pretty easy to work. So I think it's going to be over 1. And right, now we're going to test for possible solutions. In this case, it's a little bit easier since we're talking about the area, only, I'm um, excuse me, the volume, only positive x values make sense. All right, so we're going to test out the 1 and the 2 to try to find a possible solution. We test out the 1. We all know the procedure by now, right? We write out, this is from the equation. This is leading coefficients from the equation. All right, let's make sure we understand what's going on, just to be sure. Right, so for the x cubed, we got a 1. For the x squared, we got a 1. The x term is missing, so that's 0. And then we got a negative 12. And the first value we're going to test out is a positive 1. So we bring our 1 down. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Then 1 times 2 is 2. 0 plus 2 is 2. 1 times 2 is 2. And a negative 12 plus 2 is a negative 10. So this doesn't work out because it's not zero. So now we try out two. This the, the exact same um, setup for our equation. Bring down our one. Two times two is two. One plus two is three. Two times three is six. Zero plus six is six. Two times six is 12. 12 minus 12 is zero. So two is a possible, two is a solution. Step four, check for other solutions. The other two so solutions which satisfy x squared plus 3x plus 6 is equal to 0 or x is equal to a negative 3 plus or minus i, which means um, imaginary, uh, times the square root of 15 over 2. And they can be discarded because they are imaginary numbers. The only reasonable solution is x is equal to 2. The base of the mole is 2 by 2 feet. The height of the mole is 2 plus 1, which is 3.